Namaskar. I'm Gunjan Bidani and you're watching today's COVID-19 bulletin where we bring all the updates on the scientific efforts being undertaken in the country to fight the dreaded coronavirus. The world is currently fighting against an invisible enemy. One of the ways to win this fight against this virus is to first know more about it, which will allow us to shape appropriate strategies to contain and kill it eventually. To achieve this objective, under the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research (CSIR), two institutes, namely Institute of Genomics and Integrative Biology and Center for Cellular and Molecular Biology, have joined forces to sequence the genome of this virus. Although sequencing of the virus has been done in various countries already, sequencing the virus strains specifically from the Indian patients will help us understand its origin and the prominent strain which has been affecting Indians only. This will in turn help us to devise drugs which particularly target the virus strains which is doing rounds in India. For this research, the scientists will procure the virus samples from the National Institute of Virology or NIV Pune. It is a laboratory involved in the diagnosis of coronavirus infection. The scientists will not sequence just one, but hundreds of coronavirus samples. So here's the thing about the coronavirus. It changes its RNA rapidly and the sequencing of hundreds of coronavirus strains will help researchers understand how the virus is evolving to make the drugs against it, which will also work in future. This new knowledge will pave the path for making effective drugs against the deadly virus. As the testing facilities of our countries have increased, many pockets in the country have been identified to be the hotspot of the viral infection. To restrict the spread of the virus, high surveillance of such regions is required. Under the Department of Science and Technology, the National Mapping Agency of India, Survey of India, is helping the government in for the surveillance of the hotspot through its mobile application Sahayog. The app provides information about hospitals, ATMs, community and banquet halls, etc. in an area required for surveillance. The information obtained will be useful for delivering effective health services in certain places. Let's listen into what retired Lieutenant General Girish Kumar, VSM, who is the Surveyor General of India, Survey of India, has to say. So we have uh, developed this uh, Sayog mobile app and we have modified it to suit the requirement of COVID-19. It in, includes a lot of uh, parameters which are required for the various planners to improve their health delivery system or even to the socio-economic problems or even the post-COVID-19, uh, they need to uh, plan a, uh, in meticulously to fight with this uh, pandemic. Like it has got, uh, which are the hotspots, uh, where the, which are the containment areas, which are the, uh, where is the hospital, where is the testing lab, which area is the your uh, supply chain, uh, hospitals, uh, professionals, even the information about the individual also is uh, can be uploaded. And this is a voluntary contribution. But at the same time, if the state governments, they have uh, so many health workers and uh, what we say nowadays that COVID-19 warriors, they are there like ASHA workers, Anganwadi workers, they are there on ground. And if each one of them starts feeding this data, so you can imagine the kind of information the government will have geotagged information which will definitely help them improving their own uh, delivery system. I hope that the mobile app Sahayog, together with the Arogya Setu app, will help in tracking and restrict the spread of the virus. In the end, here is another request to all of you to take several steps to increase your immunity, which can help to evade the virus attack. For this, one can follow the guidelines from the Ministry of Ayush, such as drinking warm water throughout the day, practicing yoga, pranayam, and meditation for at least 30 minutes daily, and adding spices like turmeric, cumin, coriander, and garlic in your food while cooking. That's all for today. This is Gunjun Bidani, and I will meet you in the next edition of COVID-19 Bulletin. Till then, stay safe.